Hi everyone. I'm going to talk to you about the problem of having a distorted image and I'm going to use uh, Jenny's picture for the example. She did everything correctly. I'm going to do what she probably did, which she clicked on the word background and chose the image of herself. She browsed for it and she found it on her computer and it is a vertical image. So this is uh, the main reason why we're getting a distortion. This is going to work much better if you start out with a uh, photo that is horizontal uh, in orientation or what we call landscape. So that was what happened to Jenny. So this is not any fault of her own that she had such a distorted picture. So what I'm going to try to do is um, help us figure out a different way to do this with our limited means. Now if you have a phone that has a cropping tool on it, it probably has a proportion uh, cropping setting. And if you look at that, if you chose 16 wide by 9 tall, that would give you the correct proportion. I know that that probably doesn't mean a lot to you, but uh, what I'm going to do is do a guess with my image editing program that is in uh, on any Macintosh computer. It's called Preview and that's what it's going to do for you. It says Preview. Up here you see the word that says Tools and I'm going to go to this word uh, that says Adjust Size just so you can see what's going on here. So you can see my width is um, 556 pixels by 741 high. So it's what's going to happen here is that proportion is going to be such that this is going to be 16 by 9. So that means we're going to have to cut out bottom and maybe even some top of this image. So how do you crop? In this uh, program, all I have to do is just draw a rectangle. So I have to sort of in my mind imagine what 16 by 9 is going to be. So it's going to be something like that. And for me to crop this, I could use a keyboard shortcut that is Command K, or if I don't know how to do that, I would just go up here and I would say that I want to crop. And you can see here it says Command K, and that will make it so all I'm seeing is the sky and Jenny's face. And Jenny's face is not distorted. So in that case, I'm going to export that, and I'm going to export it as either a PNG file or a JPEG file. Those are the file formats that uh, work with um, our, any of the internet programs that need to have an image. We can't use like a PDF form. So I'm going to close that now. So I have a second picture of Jenny. It looks here. I've uh, turned that vertical picture into a horizontal picture. So what I'm going to do is the same thing as I did before. I'm going to go to the word background and the background uh, should say it wants me to choose an image. This time I'm going to choose the image uh, of Jenny <clears throat> and there it is. And when I'm done with that you can see that she is not distorted now. But I had to lose all of her body in the picture. So that is the problem with trying to make Google Slides uh, be our, our um, layout program. It's not meant to do that. So that is our challenge. I'm so sorry. I know some of you maybe already know how to use Photoshop and would like to do that. If you want to do that, you can. Another program that's really great on the internet is Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R dot com in that program you can crop things and know that it's going to be 16 by 9 the correct proportions right away you can put things at angles and change your fonts it's a regular layout program if you have a phone I would do all my cropping in the phone itself uh, it, because it has the proportions written out for you if you have a, a newer phone uh, the other program that I use if I am uh, using my phone is Snapseed. It has a great cropping tool. Uh, there are plenty of uh, phone uh, image editing programs you can use to get this cropped correctly. But Jenny, just so you know, you would never have been able to get your whole body in there. The only way you could have done that was to bring the picture in 
not as a background, but as a picture, and then keep it vertical, uh, and then maybe make the background just white with black lettering. So be in touch if you have any other problems, and thanks Jenny.